now that you have some scratch basics, we're going to change the game a little bit, add some things. All right, so first of all, we're going to put a background on here. What's going to happen is basically one sprite's going to talk to another sprite, and we're going to broadcast some things. But we're going to use the gallery for some of these things. So first of all, down here is our backdrop. So I'm going to choose a backdrop, and they're going to tell a joke. So if you scroll down to the bottom, there's this wall. I like that. Like it reminds me of like stand-up comedy. All right, so we have our wall. Let's move this sprite over here. I like the cat. Now if we also want to add, so go to the sprites and then choose a sprite. And we're going to add the dog. So if you look, there's the dog. Now the dog is big and facing the wrong way. So to fix that, we come to costumes. And then we grab our select tool. And we can make it smaller. Put it back in the middle. And then right here, we flip it horizontally. So that's good. All right, so let's move this dog right over here. Now notice that the dog has these different costumes, as does our sprite, our cat, and we'll get to that in a few minutes, but just be aware that that's going on. All right, so let's start with our cat. So we first need something to happen when we click our flag. Now notice that you know you can zoom in and zoom out, and I'll try to keep it zoomed in as big as I can, but with the more code, right, this isn't a lot of area to work in, so I don't want it to overlap, so I might have to zoom out at times. Okay, so when clicked, okay, we got to make sure that we are on the wall. Uh, let's see, so we're going to say, and uh, for some reason say is under looks, okay, we're going to say, and then it's going to be knock, knock. And when the cat says knock knock, we also want to, under events, broadcast. Now message one is not very helpful, right? Like that's not a good name. So new message and we'll call it knock knock. So when clicked, the cat will say knock knock for two seconds and broadcast this. All right, so the dog. So under control, when I receive knock knock I'll zoom in a little bit for now then the dog will say who's there and we need the dog to broadcast and we're going to change the name of the message to who okay so now we go back to the cat So when I receive, so when the cat receives who, the cat will say lettuce, and then broadcast, and we'll call this one lettuce. All right, so the dog, when the dog receives lettuce it is going to say lettuce who and then broadcast and we'll rename this to we'll just say lettuce who since we already have a who so when the cat receives let us who it will say let us in it's cold out here and then we will broadcast we'll call this one the answer answer and when the dog receives the answer first it's going to think to itself that's so lame. But then as a good friend, it 
will say out loud, ha, ha, ha. And even though it's the end of the joke, we're going to do some other things. So we're going to broadcast, ha, ha. All right, so let's try this out. Knock, knock. Who's there? Let us. Let us who? Let us in. It's cold out here. That's so lame. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, that is awesome. Now let's add some things. All right, so we have, remember, we talked about the costumes for our sprites. So we're going to go to costume. Now the second costume is kind of like this first, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Let's add some new ones. So down here we have our choose costume. And for this cat, there's actually a few of them. So scroll down. All right, so let's do, we'll do the flying cat as one. And then let's same thing. Whoa, that is not what I meant to do. Choose, and then we'll do the, the top of the cat. Did I miss you? All right. So let's name this. So we can name our sprites right here. So let's say top of cat. All right, this one is f cat flying. That makes sense. And then costume one is just the first one. All right, so let's go to our code. All right, so I'm going to have to slide these down because we're going to add things in there. So when clicked, first of all, we want our cat, so go to looks, to switch to costume one. So we want to make sure it starts out in the original one. Then, when he tells the next part, we'll go to the top of the cat. So switch the costume to top of cat. And then, we will switch the costume to f cat flying. All right, so he's going to switch it up as he goes. Now let's add another backdrop over here. So we're going to go to backdrop. We could find one, but let's just draw one real fast. We got good at that last time. So we're going to call this one the ground. And basically, let's use our rectangle. All right, brown. That's going to be a hard one to find. Oh, hey, so there it is. Okay. So we're going to draw the ground. I'm not very good at getting this there. Okay. The ground. All right. And then let's draw the sky. That works for me. I'm just kind of get that. Okay, so that is called the ground. Let's add some things. So clouds are basically just a bunch of circles, right? So let's just draw a circle, draw a circle, draw a circle. You know, kind of make a fluffy little cloud, although you kind of need to go back in there. All right. So we got the clouds. Now, well, a cloud. Let's draw a sun. So that is definitely going to be yellow. So let's try this again. All right. So I don't know why this isn't showing up up here. That's kind of weird, right? But we can work with it. Oh, that's why. Okay, so we got our circle. Now I'm going to draw it over here, but I'm going to like kind of pull it off so that we just see the part of it. And then use, let's use a line. So remember, outline is the line color. So a real quick thing, I'm just going to use the eye drop, and I'm going to say, hey, I want it to be yellow. It's got to be at least 10 big to see it good. All right, and then we'll just kind of draw some sunbeams. All right. So I like that. So how do we switch backdrops? Well, that is also part of the code. So let's see. So when the joke is done, so that means that when the cat, I mean the dog, so broadcasts ha-ha. So let's see. So we can do it on our cat so the control and here's where I'm going to zoom out a little bit 
So let's see, so the event, so when I receive ha ha, under looks, we're going to switch the backdrop to ground. All right, let's see how this goes. Uh-oh, did you see what happened when I pushed go? I mean, it's doing the costume changes, and it's telling the joke the way we like. However, it's on the current background. So let's debug this a little bit. So when clicked, we want to make sure that the backdrop is the wall. That's where we want to start, and then we'll get to there. Okay, let's add one more thing. So when the backdrop is switched, let's also have, so we have backdrop is switched. Let's also say, and this is the cat, click me. And then when this sprite is clicked, it's going to, let's make it glide. Okay, so let's just see where the sun is. Um, so like 137, 118. So backdrop changes, cat says click me, and then we click the cat and he flies. So the dog, let's say when the backdrop switches to the ground. Oh, did we make sure it was the ground? Yeah, okay. Then the dog is going to, now we don't want him talking when the cat is, so let's wait for three seconds. And then the dog will say, press the A key. And so when we do press the A key, so when, not space, but when the A key is pressed, the dog is going to think Ouch, that kind of hurt. But then we'll say, thanks, such a polite dog. All right, so if I zoom out a little bit, you can see all my code there. All right, so on your assignment, you are going to have three backdrops, and you'll do different things. Just make sure that, you know, on the assignment page, I tell you exactly what each thing, like what, needs to happen on each backdrop so you know no problem let's just look at this one more time all right so we gotta move our cat back all right so if I click the cat it flies and when I press the A key ouch that kind of hurts and thanks so last debugging thing, right? Clearly the cat needs to go back when we switch. So I'm going to move the cat back where I want it. And then for my motions, I'm just going to go to and see this is where I wanted it to start. So we got that. Perfect. All right, make sure that you share this with me, right? Grab that link and copy and paste that into Canvas.